Hello everyone. I have really big hair. See, look, let me get it all in the frame. So we're gonna go with this part of my face being seen right now because that's what we're gonna do. But nonetheless, welcome back. Feeling good today. I'm feeling good today. A little break, but I'm back. I'm feeling good. Today, part of what I wanted to talk about has to do with what kind of led to my break and burnout. Now that I'm really, really honest with myself. I haven't been honest with myself for a long time because I didn't want to hear it. Didn't want to hear my own advice of quitting coffee. And I'm still not here to say that I quit coffee. I'm here to give my alternatives to what I've been drinking for coffee instead of coffee, okay? Those who are at the point where I am where I'm gonna try and quit coffee because you know it's giving you the jitters or it's increasing your anxiety or it's it's just not doing the greatest things for you as it you know might have done at one point the problem with coffee is that you end up going on this like big circle you need more coffee to get the feeling that you wanted to feel when really you should just stop and get some sleep let's be honest okay so if you're interested in three things that i've been doing to help me stop going through that whole circle make sure to stay tuned hello everyone my name is tiffany from the blog it's me lady g which is a lifestyle wellness blog which has been shifting okay shifting and transition all those things i'm just trying to do things that support my joy more than anything else like that period so yeah go to follow on instagram and also on my blog you can sign up for my email list which you know i'm kind of sort of consistent on but i'm gonna get better i'm gonna get better i'm enlisting help so we'll get there. In addition to being a wellness content creator, blogger, writer, all the things, I'm also a certified health coach. So I should be listening to my own advice and that's what's leading us here. I also have a women's wellness podcast, What in the Wellness with Tiffany, that will be also linked in the description box, either down here if you're on YouTube or up here if you're on Instagram. Here are three things that I've been drinking instead of coffee. And one of them is still coffee, but it's a different coffee combination that has helped to, I, may, I feel, I haven't had them tested or anything, but to bring my cortisol levels down over the last couple, I don't know how long. I feel much better right now, so. First thing is Rasa, it's a coffee alternative. I talk to about it a lot, or as some people say, wax poetic. I've never been one of those that said that. This was the time to say it. On Instagram, I will also link to some videos or something, some other references and stuff you can go and check out in the description box, either here or here. More about Rasa. An adaptogenic coffee alternative blend. It has different herbs, I, some of which are adaptogens and some are other things. And they have different blends, but this is the original blend. This is what I have on me right now it does require you to brew it i like to make a nice strong brew the night before and then let it sit overnight and drink it the next morning does it taste like coffee no it doesn't taste like coffee it's not coffee okay it's a coffee alternative it's something you want to drink instead of coffee but if you brew it strong especially to me to me i still love rasa i love all the blends they have like a bunch of different blends i like it if it's brewed strong so that's why i let it sit overnight so it has a good long brew but you can drink it after as little as 15 minutes so there's that the good thing about rasa like all adaptogen blending adaptogenic blends that it's not meant to get you uh, all wired it's meant to help increase your energy naturally especially if you you have to drink most adaptogenic blends of anything over time as it says on here it's like calm energy which is a thing. So a little a little pep, but really you do more feel it after some time. That's one option. I do have a discount code I will put in the description box either there or there, like I said, and you can go and check them out. You do need to brew it and have a French press if you don't have one already. I will link it as well. If you out here in the coffee streets, you might have a coffee press anyway. Okay, French press. You might have it. So you'll have it. Yo, I dropped something in every freaking video it's crazy <laughs> and i'm starting to think there's actually a couple more so there'll be like a bonus one which may seem stupid but it actually kind of works i'll put that at the end second thing that i've been trying is the mud water where's the thing mud water it is another herb blend but 
it's different a little bit than the, the rasa. Rasa, you're gonna brew it kind of like a tea and then pour it out as opposed to mud water. You're actually drinking the blend. So it's a little different. You're gonna have that gritty taste to it because you're, unless you, you, you have to whip it up really, really good. Whip it good. But you have to make sure that it's blended well in order for you not to get the greediness. But it's different because it does have like a chai mix at the top. It has cacao, which is kind of the fourth thing that I was gonna say. Chocolate helps sometimes with the um, the coffee feeling that you might wanna get. What's going on? Thank you. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> it has like lion's mane, cordyceps, ch chaga, chaga, reishi, cinnamon, turmeric, and Himalayan salt. This can has 30 servings in it. It also, when it comes in the box, it comes when you order the starter kit, which I will also link. It has a frother with it, which is kind of great. You could even use this for other things. You could use it for matcha, which is not on the list. I don't care who. I said before, if you want to quit coffee, you start drinking matcha. But matcha does admittedly have an acquired taste. You have to have an acquired taste for it. It can taste like just straight grass. So I didn't put it in this li this listing. The order the starter kit of the mud water does come with this. You can just order this, but then you won't get this with it. It's a different experience of having the two different types of things. And I really love Rasa because they have a variety of, of blend. Like one, if you are trying like for an aphrodisiac type one with, with like, little spiciness they have one for sleep they have one for to give you a good mood they have one with elderberry in it so it's just a different experience regardless those are two really great options the third is blending decaf and coffee regular coffee so i usually make a cold brew at home using a super simple recipe that i will link the video to in the description box again here here but in this case, I'll use like two thirds to even what's the more than that <laughs> fraction of decaf, then I will put regular caffeinated coffee in the rest. So the majority, like 80%, that's not two thirds, 80% or so <laughs> of decaf and then the rest with regular caffeinated coffee. I personally like cold brew better or more than uh, iced coffee is because it has a smoother blend it just it's not as acidic you know just it's, there's a difference between iced coffee and cold brew okay google it i'm not gonna talk about it too long here but it's a thing make that as a cold brew blend this is the end this did not get me through the whole week as i thought it was going to but i realized that i can drink i drank two cups of it today and didn't feel anywhere as near as jittery as I did just having like one whole cup or one full mug of coffee. It's amazing. The last thing that I actually didn't, I said three in the beginning, but now that I think about it, the fourth is making a kind of like chocolate cacao drink. Okay, whether it be chocolate milk, sometimes chocolate milk will do it for me, or adding mud water or rasa with a scoop of cacao, cacao or <laughs> cacao, like one teaspoon in there, it kind of like that bitterness kind of hits that coffee, you know, craving that I'm having. So that's been helping as well. And it has not given me like the coffee sweats and all that stuff. All those things that I just mentioned have alleviated all of the jitterness, jitteriness and the coffee sweats and the increased anxiety and okay. Those things. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you do like the video and also give it a thumbs up because it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Everybody's saying that. It also helps on Instagram if you are watching on Instagram too, okay? I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>